Guess what, everybody? For the month of April, you get two Retro Wolf 88 hunting episodes, and it's time to start number two. What? So today's hunting episode is going to be a little bit different than the last two. It's going to be a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller in scope and a little bit faster paced. And what we're doing in today's episode is I'm taking you to four different places, one flea market, two game stores, and in a sort of multimedia store. It's a record store, but it adds other stuff too. And we have a trade with Adam, AKA the Retro Beard, where I score a lot of GameCube games. So today's episode is going to be on a journey. And all of these places are in and around the Murfreesboro, Tennessee area. So let's go ahead and jump into the flea market, which is called the Higgins Woodbury Flea Market. And this is a flea market that I really like. It's a storage unit flea market where people sell out of storage units. And I've found some pretty good stuff at this flea market. Now, you know, uh, this visit wasn't as good as some past visits, but I did find a few cool things. But let's go ahead and roll the footage. Now, before we get to the footage, one final thing I do want to say is in a lot of these places, I wasn't really able to talk on camera a lot. Uh, for various reasons, uh, some of the reasons being in the game stores there were there was music playing really loud that would probably get my video copyright claimed. So because of that, there will be some voiceover narration mixed in here and there with some of the clips. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the flea market, the Higgins Woodbury flea market, and see what I find. So yeah, this is the Higgins Woodbury Flea Market. Like I said, this is a storage unit flea market, so it is various people selling stuff out of storage units, and you never know what you're gonna find here. Now, typically this flea market is busting with people, but today I got there as soon as they opened, so people were still setting up. Some vendors had just not got there yet, and it was actually pretty cold, so because of that, there wasn't as much activity as normal. But you never know what you're gonna find here. You could find toys, games, board games, Legos. I mean, there's there's all sorts of stuff. Movies of all kinds, from Blu-ray to DVD to VHS, CDs, the whole nine yards. And I have walked out of here with some gems. I just absolutely love flea markets like this because you just never know what you're gonna find. And in most cases, you could get some really good deals on things. Well, let's see some I PC think some of games. PC. Yeah. I don't know what some of the other ones, are they all PCs? Uh, those two in the big boxes, those are PC. Okay. Uh, I buy storage lockers. I don't oh, know do you? you never know what you're gonna find, yeah, huh? And I don't know. So PC, that's so the only are, computer. Those are PC, that's PlayStation 3 there. PlayStation 3. And this is, uh, PlayStation. that's also PlayStation 3. Okay. PlayStation 3 typically okay. comes in these kind of smaller okay. cases. Yeah. Um, okay. And then of course on the disc, it'll show PlayStation okay. 3 also. PlayStation, okay. Then and then you I got- put them together. I, I saw some Wii stuff. I might be interested in this Mario Kart. How much you want on that? I'm just asking two dollars a okay. piece on the game. That sounds good. That's we also. Not sure what this is. Wait, let's see. That is uh that's a PC game. Now what is that system for? Uh this is a DVD. This is a movie. Oh, that's just a movie. Yep. It's a yeah, it's a computer now, if it's graphic. It's just a movie, movie, it's a dollar. Okay. Yeah, it, gotcha. Yeah. So that ladies and gentlemen was a storage unit flea market. Really cool place. 
Um, I've actually scored some pretty good stuff there, and I've also taken a lot of people hunting at this flea market, including Eric and Jared from Retro Gaming Pandemic and Corbin and Amy from Cheap Finds Gold Mines. But let me go ahead and quickly show you what I got from that flea market. So we got Resident Evil Degeneration. I love this movie. This is an awesome movie with a lot of action in it, and it has the badass version of Leon in it. So this is going in my DVD collection. The best of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. This game, this show is awful, but I love it. Got an anime here, Vampire Hunter D Special Edition on DVD. An anime, you know, it's it's becoming harder and harder to find these on DVD, and this is a pretty awesome one and very mature. This was a cool find. So this is the Undertaker, the Streak DVD. It's a four disc. DVD set all about The Undertaker, and this is in really good condition, almost like it was never used, and I got it for two bucks, which was a fantastic deal. And last but certainly not least, I got a loose copy of Mario Kart on the Wii for $2, and this is about a $25 to $30 loose disc, and the disc is in pretty decent condition as well. It just needs to be cleaned, and I might buff it in the disc resurfacer. So that was the Higgins Woodbury Flea Market. It's uh, one of my favorite flea markets in the area, and you will probably see that show up in future hunting episodes again, and hopefully next time I score a little bit better because in the past I have walked out of there with some gems. But next up, let's go ahead and move on to the first game store that I visited in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and it's a game store called Play and Trade. <laughs> So as soon as I walked in Play and Trade, I got strong GameStop vibes. And I believe Play and Trade actually is a chain sort of like GameStop because Marcello from GameCube Galaxy had actually mentioned to me that there's a Play and Trade where he lives. So unless it's just a coincidence, that kind of leads me to believe that it is a chain. Now, they're very, very organized. The games tend to be pretty clean. You can tell they clean them. The discs look great. You can tell they resurface all the discs. But when I walked in at first, I got a little scared because I thought it was just going to be modern games. And then I turn a corner around a shelf and I see some GameCube games sitting there. And they had quite a few GameCube games that I needed for the collection, but the price was just a little too high for me. And then some of them were missing manuals, but at least I did walk out of there with something. that was a pretty cool game store and you know when i first walked in there i wasn't expecting there to be gamecube games because at first glance it really felt like a gamestop and then i saw gamecube games and i walked out of there with at least one gamecube game i needed there were others but they were just a little too pricey but here are the two things that i picked up from play and trade we got astro boy the video game i'm very actively collecting for the wii and i'm always on the lookout for games that look like they could be fun and Astro Boy the video game certainly looks like one of those. And NASCAR Chase for the Cup 2005 complete in box which will of course be going into the collection. Next up is another game store. Now this game store had a slightly better selection of GameCube games and they had a hell of a selection of Wii games. There were a lot of Wii games I wanted to walk out of there with but I had to sort of be conservative with how much I spent. <laughs> Now, Game Trader, I've actually been to before with Eric and Jared from Retro Gaming Pandemic, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below so that you can check it out. And this is a really cool store. It's a, it's a retail game store, but they have modern games, they have retro games, they have an amazing selection of all of the above, but they also have a lot of Japanese stuff, which is really cool, like toys and models imported from Japan. Uh, they've got a lot of Japanese games and they, uh, they have an amazing selection of Switch games. They get a lot of limited run games in. They also get a lot of PAL uh, exclusive Switch games.
but I walked out of there with some pretty cool stuff, so let's go ahead and show that right now. So we got Cabela's Survival Shadows of Katmai. Uh, this game looks pretty cool. It looks like a survival adventure game from Cabela, and it's probably gonna be terrible, but hey, you know what? I'll check it out, and maybe it will be a hidden gem. Red Steel, I have Red Steel 2, but I realized I do not have the first Red Steel, and you know what? This game got a lot of hate, but I actually enjoyed Red Steel on the Wii. I thought it was pretty fun. It has flaws, sure, but it's a pretty fun game. Far Cry Vengeance, complete in box copy of Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004, which means I now have all of the Tiger Woods games on the GameCube. And finally, a complete in box copy of Ghost Recon. Now, before we get to the final place that we visit, let's jump to the trade with Adam, AKA the Retro Beard. Now you saw him in the Nostalgia Mall hunting episode, which was our second hunting episode. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below in case you missed it. But he went hunting with us that day, but I also did a trade with him for a ton of GameCube games, all complete in box. And we did that again today. So I traded him a stack of Super Nintendo games and one PS3 game for 18 complete in box GameCube games. Let's go ahead and roll that footage. What's up everybody? I am here today yet again with the man, the myth, the legend, the sign maker himself, Adam, AKA the Retro Beard on Instagram. How you doing today, brother? Good. I would shake your hand, but my right hand is all jacked up. You might break my wrist if I <laughs> shake your hand, so so I'd rather not have a broken wrist. Appreciate it. Dude, I'm loving the Nintendo 64 oh, sweater well, and you. the Mario hat, and here I am in just a plain freaking long sleeve shirt. You're, you're making me look bad over here on my own YouTube channel, <laughs> but that's okay, because what we're here to do today is two things. We're doing a trade, another trade. I'm trading Adam a stack of awesome Super Nintendo games and one PlayStation 3 game for a huge stack of GameCube games. Now, I'm not gonna show you all the GameCube games yet. We'll show, I'll show you the GameCube games back in the game room, but I do wanna quickly show you what I'm trading Adam for the GameCube games. And then he's gonna tell you something cool that's coming up that he's doing at a convention. And I'll let him tell you about that in just a second. So, I'm trading Adam Doom, Captain America and the Avengers, Final Fantasy III, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, The Seventh Saga, all on the Super Nintendo, of course. As, as well as Lagoon, Dr Dr Draken, however the hell you pronounce that, Arcana, Act Razor, and Act Razor 2, and finally, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix <laughs> on the PlayStation 3. Yeah, this puts me over 220 on the SNES set. So. Really? Over yeah. 220? Yeah. Wow, that's very, very impressive, especially considering Super Nintendo prices seem to be going up a little bit. So, And uh, as you guys can see here, this is a very big stack of GameCube games, all complete in box, in original cases, original cover art, all that good stuff that I'm getting from Adam today. So I'm, dude, I'm very excited. <laughs> this is going to be a great, great boost to the collection. And, uh, you know, as always, I appreciate you uh, working out a good deal with me, man, and hooking me up. Seriously. Yes. So, thank you. Perfect. Now, Adam is going to tell you guys something that he's doing pretty soon that's going to be really cool that you might be able to check out yourself. So, take it away, Adam. Yeah, so, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, check me out. Uh, I make signs. I make a lot of different signs. But about, I don't know, two months ago, I started making light-up signs. Uh, and they've taken off, and a lot of people are buying them. But uh, I'm gonna be at Game Jam South. I have a booth uh, there at Game Jam South where I'll have the signs. I have a, a good number of them. I'll let you hold that one. Oh yeah. So these are the signs I make. It's hard to see in the sun, uh, but they do light up. Uh, they're battery operated or USB operated. Either one can be hung. They have hang tabs on them. So super easy. Um, so check that out. If you come to Game Jam South to see my man here in his uh, panel, Swing by the booth, say hi, and pick up a sign. I don't think I'm doing a panel at Game Jam. You're not doing a game, no. okay. No, not that I know of anyways. Maybe they'll just throw me in one, who knows? Maybe I'm looking at old advertisement. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, Game Jam South, that's gonna be on April 30th in Scottsboro, Alabama. So if you are in the area, come to the convention, say hi to me, say hi to Adam, and buy one of these awesome signs. So once again, I wanna thank Adam, AKA the Retro Beard on Instagram for doing this trade and hooking me up with 18 complete box GameCube games. Such an awesome guy, such a nice guy, and he makes amazing video game signs. 
And if you're interested in getting a video game signed from him, you can contact him through Instagram, and I'll leave that information in the description down below. And be sure to go to Game Jam South if you're in the area. You're probably wanting to see all the GameCube games that I got from Adam. So let me go ahead and show you those right now. And there are a lot of bangers here, so get ready. We got Cars, which turns out is a double. I've already got it, so I messed up on that one, but that's okay. Time Splitters 2, which is one of my favorite first-person shooters on the GameCube. Sonic Adventure Battle 2, Pac-Man World 2, NHL Hits 2003, Monster Jam Maximum Destruction, Midway Arcade Treasures 1, Absolute Banger, Mario Kart Double Dash, Conflict Desert Storm 2 Back to Baghdad, Zapper, Wave Race Blue Storm, Beautiful Joe 2, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, Sonic Gems Collection, Need for Speed Carbon, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, and MLS Extra Time 2002. Trading is the way to go if you have stuff in your collection you don't care about, or if you have extra games in an excess inventory, try to work out trades with people because you can get some good stuff without really spending any money, sort of. All right, so the final place that we visited is called The Great Escape. Now, technically, it is a record store, but they have everything else, too. Toys, games, movies, CDs, even laser discs, which you're gonna see. So let's go ahead and take a look at The Great Escape. What you got your eye on, Adam? I like a big Star Wars fan, and I started collecting laser discs not too long ago. They have the Ewok movie. Wow, on laser discs. Right? Nice. That's not something you see every uh -huh. day. Adam is over here digging through laser discs. Bad boys. Bad boys, very nice. <laughs> oh, wow! Laser discs are cool, man. Do you have a laser disc player? I don't actually. You know yeah. what I use them for? I, uh, you know how like people put vinyls on the wall? Yeah. In my kind of home theater gaming room, I'm right? Mount them up. They're yeah. like mini movie posters and they're generally pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a great idea, man. Oh, there you high, go. Yeah. Ace Ventura. Pretty cool place, right? I really like that place quite a bit. They've got a lot of good stuff. I didn't walk out of there with a whole lot, but I did get a few pretty cool items, and let me show you those right now. So you guys know I'm always on the lookout for obscure Wii games, and Flip's Twisted World looks really awesome. It looks like it is a 3D platformer mixed with some heavy puzzle elements, so I'm actually looking forward to checking this one out. It might be a hidden gem. Then we got Catwoman, and this thing is minty. And finally, Outlaw Golf Complete in Box for $4.99. So there you have it, folks. That is it for today's smaller hunting episode. If you enjoyed it, please be sure and hit that like button. Let me know what you think about all my pickups and the places that I visited in the comments down below. Folks, as always, I appreciate you tuning into the channel. Stay safe out there. Keep playing games and having a good time, and I will catch you all in the next video. Later.